Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and I'd like to talk about our SimpleFlex Photo Viewer, which we just put up on Google Code. Now you can access it and download the code by going to code.google.com forward slash p forward slash SimpleFlex Photo Viewer. And we are putting up all our code, the code that we write at Northern Kentucky University, on Google Code. Now you can go to the web and find maybe three or four good photo viewers and this one is unique in the sense that it uses techniques not found in any one place in the literature. For example, data sorting, tile repeaters, XML, HTTP services, inline MXML action scripting, click on double functions, use of C data tags, tooltips, glow and fade effects, and much more and it's all done with less than 100 lines of code if you take out the blank lines. So let me show you how I built this. Basically, I went to one of my other Google Code projects, the Flex Video Player. Now, the Flex Video Player has an XML backend like I wanted for the uh, photo viewer and shows videos and text. And what I wanted was basically to show images and text. So I actually downloaded this and started hacking it. It's great when you can hack your own code. So let's take a look at that in Flex. So here's the project. Just opened up a new Flex project. Download the video player and started hacking it. Photo viewer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, until I got to what I needed. Let's take a look at the video player real quick. And there it is. And once again, different videos, different text, based upon what I click on from a menu, kind of what I wanted for the photo viewer. And once I got to the final version of my hack, I just created a new project. And I called it Photo Viewer Build, because we're using it for our Over the Rhine build. And if you want to learn more about what we're going to use this for, just go to our YouTube videos on Over the Rhine website in Adobe Flex. And so I built my photo viewer. Let's open that up. Double click. And there's the code. I'm not going to talk about the code, just how it works. And if you want to learn more, hey, shoot me an email or go to the Overrun build and watch what we do there. Let's just run this and see how it works. Real simple viewer, but it has a lot of neat stuff inside it. Okay, let's take a look at the website. Basically, there's this main menu up here, and when you roll over each topic of the main menu, you see there's a glow effect. And when you click on one, you can see here at the home topic, the image faded in. You can see a bolding here, which is done by bringing in uh, HTML tags and the C data part of the back XML back end. And when you roll over rhetoric, for example, you can see once again the image faded in, and you had a new set of text here. And when you roll over these different topics, you can see a tooltip appears. Let me open this website up a little bit so we can see a little bit more of it. Bring this down. Bring this up. There's a subtitle down here. You can see when you click on the different images, the subtitle changes as well. And all of this is being brought in dynamically through the XML. So at one time, this was the entire Over the Rhine site. We've been able to compress all this very efficiently into one Flex component. And this component will be going into the... Uh, over the Rhine website. So if you want to learn more about that, just go to my YouTube videos and watch us as we build up the Over the Rhine site.